Hey guys, it's JP at Justice Prep. Now this is day eight of our ACT math practice. If you've been following the previous videos, I hope that they've been helpful. We are gonna get started with the next three right now. Question number one, what is the next term in the following sequence? One, two thirds, four ninths, eight over 27, and then the fifth term. Now we could use the formula for a geometric sequence because here this is a sequence and it's either going to be geometric or arithmetic. Geometric means that you're multiplying the same number to each term to get the next term. Whereas arithmetic means that you're adding a number. You can see that there isn't the same interval in between each of these terms. So this is not an arithmetic sequence. It's a geometric one. So we can use the formula for a geometric sequence, which is a sub n is the first term times the common ratio raised to the n minus 1. So the first term times the common ratio, meaning the number that it's being multiplied by each time, raised to the n minus 1. And here, this is going to be the fifth term that we want. So this is a sub 5. The first term is 1. The common ratio. So we have to think, what is the common ratio? Well, to get from 1 to 2 thirds, so 1 times x equals 2 thirds, that just means x is 2 thirds. So the common ratio here is 2 thirds. So 2 thirds raised to the, this is 5 minus 1 or 4. So this is really 2 thirds to the fourth power. We can distribute this exponent to the top and the bottom. And we get 16 over 81. So the answer is E. Now we didn't have to do it this way. We could just look at these numbers and we can guess what the next number would be. So this is going, the, you can look at the numerator here. If, if one is really one over one, it goes from one to two to four to eight. So we know that it's being multiplied by two each time. So times two, times two, times two. So we know that this has to be 16. And we can go look at the answer choices and we can cross out these here. So it's really either gonna be 54 or 81 on the bottom. And here we can see that we're multiplying by three. Three, nine, 27, and then 27 times three, which is 81. So we could get it this way. Either way, the answer is E. Question number two, what is x to the 12th divided by x to the 14th? Let's write this out. And we can use an exponent rule, which is that if you have a fraction, this is really a to the n minus m. So this would really be x to the 12 minus 14, which is x to the negative two. So if you look at these answer choices, we can do some elimination. It's not 26, it's not two, it's not six seventh, it's not 168. And here we have one over x squared, but there's an, a rule for that. If you have a negative exponent, that just means it's one over the same base to the positive exponent. So x to the negative two is really one over x squared. So the answer here is D. Another way to think about this question is, imagine, imagine 12 x's in a row on the top here, and then imagine 14 of them. If we were to cross out all 12 here with the 12 that are here, there are actually two more x's on the bottom if we crossed all these out. So we would have really one over x times x, which is one over x squared. Number three, point zero 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 one two three equals. So this question is asking us to rewrite this decimal in scientific notation. There are two rules that we wanna apply at the outset. The first is that you always have to create a number that is in between one and 10. So we have one, two, three here, these digits, and we have to make something that is between one and 10. So we would put the decimal here and make it a 1.23, not here or, or here. 
So we need it to look like this, 1.23. So we can eliminate all the answer choices that doesn't have 1.23. So this one and this one. And the second rule we want to remember is that since this is a decimal, the exponent has to be negative. When we're writing a number greater than one in scientific notation, we're gonna raise that to a positive number. But when we're working with decimals, they're raised to a negative number, which means it's not this one. So the answer here is between 1.23 times 10 to the negative five and 1.23 times 10 to the negative six. So if we just write out this number, zero, 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 one, two, three, we can count the spaces it takes for us to get right here. So that's one, two, three, four, five. So that's gonna be 1.23 times 10 to the negative five. So the answer is A. All right, that is it for today. I hope that that was helpful. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked the video. Subscribe to our channel. Get all the latest updates. I'm JP. This is Justice Prep, and I will see you guys in the next one.